Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant running on Synology in Docker. Today we are going to install Ambi, alternative to Plex. We'll start in 10 seconds. Today we are going to install a new Docker container. This one will be Ambi. Ambi is alternative to Plex Media Server and it will allow you to do almost everything that Plex does too. If you're interested, there is also support for Synology package. And that means that you will not be needing to install Docker if you want, but instead you could use Synology native package. I will not go through steps of installing it as a normal Synology package but I will be posting a link where you can get more information and do it yourself. Also provided is a custom package architecture for XP Analogy. Ok, let's get cracking. First thing we want to do is connect with the PuTTY to our terminal on Synology. Let's select our server. Let's type in our username and password. Now we will create a new folder for MB server. Make directory volume one docker MB. Once again, we need to know what our user ID and group ID are. So let's type ID. And here you can see that our user ID is 1026 and our group ID is 100. This information will be necessary when you start typing the sudo command. Let's do it. So we will once again start with sudo super user do docker run. We will start terminal as a detached or daemon. Let's give it a name. Network will be host once again. Next, we can define ports. This is not necessary if you are using net equals host, but nevertheless, I do it every time. So it's port 8096 to 8096. This is for HTTP access. And MB will be also using port 8920 for the HTTP access. We will not be defining HTTPS at this point, but you can remember this for future and your own tweaking. Let's now attach folders. First, we want to attach folder where our configuration files will be. So this is a folder we just created. Volume 1, Docker, MB. And we want to attach it with the internal config folder. This is where all our configuration files will be stored. Next, we'll start defining our media folders. You can select multiple media folders and that's why I will be using subfolders. So one media folder will be movies, the other media folder will be TV shows. Media, movies, and we can connect it with the mount, internal mount folder, and let's call it share one, like in documentation share one next folder i want to attach is tv series folder so let's create another volume mapping media tv and we will attach it with the mount share two folder we can of course change those names but let's keep it like this for for now Next thing what we have to do is we have to list our user ID as environment variable. So it will be E for environment, UID equals, if you remember my user ID was 11026. And next environment variable will be my group ID and it's GID equals, equals 100. If we want, we can also list here other group IDs. So let's type, for example, uh, GID equals 1000. 
If you want to add additional groups for the additional users, you can just add comma and list it here. And last part of the command is command to specify what image we want to download. And for us, it would be MB, MB server. And we want to use always latest. Let's check the command if everything is correct. Everything looks more or less okay. Let's now press enter. We need to type in our password. And let's press enter. MB will be pulled from the Docker Hub and it should be installed in a couple of minutes or, or seconds, depending on the speed of your internet link and, of course, speed of your system. And our image is downloaded and installed, and MB should be already up and running. Let's check Portainer. Let's go to Containers. MB, it's running. Let's open it here. And it's up and running. Let's open it in our web browser. Address for the MB will be your Synology IP address with the port 8096. In order to finish this installation, we have to go through the wizard for the setup. Let's select the language. Next, we have to create a username. So it will be bearded tinker. Let's use suggested password. Let's press next. And now we can add our files from the folders we created previously. Let's select share one. Okay. And this will be movies. Let's select in what language we want information about movies to be downloaded. English, country, let's select UK, preferred image, preferred image download language, let's also select English, and yes, save artwork and enable thumbnail image creation. And for subtitles, let's also select Croatian language. If there is Croatian language. Okay. Open subtitles. And this should be it. Now let's create additional library. This will be for our TV series. Folder is share to. Okay. And once again, we have to click through settings here. For language, we want to select English. Country will be UK. Image download, once again, will be English. Let's click this. Click this. Let's select all of this. Save artwork, save thumbnails, enable thumbnails, and let's select also the creation subtitles. Okay. Okay. So at this point, we already have two libraries. You can, of course, add your own libraries. You can, during the creation process of the uh, Docker container, add multiple folders. Or, for example, you can add your top folder and then uh, by using only one shared folder, you can have multiple folders inside of it. Let's press next. Country is UK, English language. Next, allow remote access. OK, our enable automatic port mapping also OK. I accept terms of service. And this is it. Sign in, and we are now inside our MB server. Currently, no movies are available because I have no movies in my database. 
as you can see the screen is more simplified than in Plex but you do have a lot of additional stuff behind the scenes you can go and change settings from your ambi server you can select if you want to have paid subscription you can also check additional information on about transcoding if you have a tv stick inside your device you can go for live tv etc etc i will not be going into details there is also application available for the android and Apple phones so you can use that application but there is also part that limits the use of mobile applications same as with Plex it requires you to have subscription okay this part is done next thing what we want to do is go to Synology and get integration with the home assistant ready before that we have to go to our uh, server and we have to find where our API key is. Let's create new key. Let's call it Home Assistant. Let's press OK. And here it is, our key for the Home Assistant. Let's copy it. We will be needing it to finish the installation inside Home Assistant. Back in Home Assistant, let's go to Home Assistant folder. Let's open configuration YAML file. In configuration YAML file, let's find if we already have media set up somewhere. I think we do. Okay, media player is here. And we want to create a new integration, MB. And let's start typing platform information platform mb host this is the ip address of your synology server and here we have to type api key of course we'll be using secrets once again and let's call this mb key this should be it for the integration of the MB in ho inside Home Assistant. Let's press Ctrl S to save the file. Just don't forget to edit your secrets YAML file. Let's close this. Let's go back to Home Assistant. In Home Assistant, let's go to Configuration, Server Control, Check Configuration. And if everything is OK, let's restart our server. And our server is back online. Okay, let's go to overview, let's go to media, and here we can now add entities for our MB server. And as you can see, it is currently idle because it's not doing anything. If, for example, I would be streaming, it would show me what video I would stream. As you can see, this entity is now empty. Now let me quickly download something from the internet. For test purposes, I have added a couple of movies. Let's go back to the MB. As you can see here, we have three movies. We have additional information for each of them. You can like them. You can click them and select them that you've already played them. Let's... Let's select here. As you can see, you can change information about the movie, but we are now interested in playing it. Let's press play. Movie will begin to play. And if we go back to Home Assistant, we can see here that we now have information about what movie is playing. Let's pause it. And the movie indeed did pause. Okay, that's it. 
we can press we can press play movie continue to play and that's it we have now finished both installation of the MB media server and also we have finished integration of the MB media server with the home assistant I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any kind of a comment or a suggestion for next video or related to this one, you can always leave it down in the comment section. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future video updates. And I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun!